Hello ladies and gentlemen, Bowmaster619 here. Welcome to another bow vlog. Today in particular, we're going to be doing a review of another mystery bow that I helped my friend Monkey buy at a pawn shop. You might remember him from one of the Spirit Saturday episodes that I have shot in the past, uh, the one that had terrible audio quality. And the reason I say mystery is because, as you can clearly see here, there are no distinct markings on it whatsoever for any kind of a brand. It pulls 46 pounds at 28 inches. My draw is 27, so it'd be a little shorter than that, or a little lighter than that, excuse me. But this bow shoots very well. Now, as you can see here in the frame, I have the target right there. It's set at only about maybe seven yards or so. And the reason we have it so close, and the reason you can actually see it, is because there is a Mountain Dew bottle. It has this on the end, which is known as a boom cap, or a name similar to that, at least. And essentially what that means is, because of the way the cap is designed, this bottle is pressurized to around 120 PSI. That's what I ranked it on bike pump that I used to pump it up. And if you have watched the Slingshot channel at all, you have seen these on there, and you know that once they are compressed like that, when you shoot them with something, they'll blow up. What's interesting is the fact that I shot at a bottle similar to this, only it was a Pepsi bottle. I hit it twice dead on with a 58 caliber lead ball from a slingshot that had an almost butterfly style band set, which basically means use your entire uh, arm width, and it didn't blow up. And it took four shots out of my Benjamin Steel Eagle, which fires a 22 caliber pellet at around 1,000 to 1,200 feet per second. It took four shots from that to make one of these things go boom. However, with this, Hopefully one shot will be enough. So, let's find out. Ow! It attacked me! <laughs> okay, that has never happened before. That's funny. Fudge! I didn't expect the daggum thing to actually launch itself at me. Here you go. This is what's left. Pull the arrow out. Along with the string. If you're wondering what this is, this is actually fishing line from the rig that I typically use when I go fishing. It actually, um, what the heck? Oh, you gotta be, really? Wow. Uh, there we go. It actually broke the end of my arrow. These are carbon fiber arrows and that explosion actually destroyed the tip of my arrow. I was not expecting it to destroy one of my arrows and this is a 5575. Now I'm nervous to shoot at the rest of these. Let's see if an aluminum arrow will be a different story. Now we're shooting at about 10 yards instead of around 6. Apparently pressurized plastic is a lot stronger than I initially gave credit to. Apparently, if you don't get a direct hit on these things, they won't actually blow up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm genuinely nervous now because that's eight bucks, nine bucks down the drain right there. Wow, that's loud. Wow. That's what's left of that bottle. Good news, my arrow survived. And here's the cap. Wow. I think I'm gonna save those two for later, and I'm just gonna do a review of this bow. Very smooth draw, very stable shooter, and this thing is extremely accurate. And the nice part is, when you have a bow like this that almost seems to fit you personally, you can actually watch the arrow from draw to hit all the way through. You can actually watch it in motion. Some bows doesn't necessarily do that simply because of the fact that they're not quite as stable as other ones, and the flight might be a little more erratic, as well as the fact that the shooting of the bow itself might shock your body just a tiny bit where you're not really watching the arrow. But with this thing, you draw back, you release, and for me at least, you can actually see the arrow all the way to the target. Unless it's a very far distance. 
Which, you know what? Next time I do a bow vlog, I think I'm going to do long distance shooting just for the fun of it. But as far as this bow goes, this is still one of my favorites to shoot. Nice. Right into the bullseye. We will get these last two shots in on these boom cap bottles. And then I think we'll call it a wrap from there. That legitimately sounds like a freaking gun going off. Now the whole area just smells like bad Mountain Dew. Alright, last shot. That sounds awesome. Hello. Excuse me? Good. Are they good? Oh, yes, sir. I apologize for that. I'm shooting uh, compressed bottles. Oh, that's cool. I just want to make sure everything was cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oops. <laughs> I just had the neighbors concerned asking if everything was okay. I don't know if you caught that, uh, if that actually was caught on film or not, but whoopsie. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and wrap that up here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I'll do a more in-depth review of this bow later when I'm not shooting at exploding bottles. Thank you again. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.